So interstitial is like a bad relationship. You just get all fibrous and it's like they go around you with ropes and ropes and ropes and then they keep you all in here and you're like trying to breathe and you can't breathe. Try to take a breath in, you get a little breath in, and you get squeezed the life out of you again. And then they tell you it's your fault on top of it all because you worked in a coal mine, so too bad. So there's two types. There's uh, granuloma and non-granuloma. Granu uh, non-granuloma, Spider-Man comes in, he's like, shh, 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 makes this lattice of fibrous stuff, honeycomb stuff all around your lungs, and it's like, Argh. And then the granuloma is even worse. It's like macrophages come in, they're like, Argh. set up shop in your lungs, and we're like, yeah. We're good because we eat all the thing, eat all the information, but then we're bad because we have a brony fest and all our bros come and make aggregates. And then we have our little ponies because we, we, we look cute. They give us a cute name called Sarco. <laughs> Sarcoidosis, but we're not cute. We're bros that eat our ponies. Okay, so that doesn't sound good at all. Um, cancer, so cancer, you can tell what it is because you're coughing up blood and you have weight loss. So yes, you cough up blood in one or two of the other ones, but weight loss is like a really huge thing. So there's four different kinds in two categories. One category is small cell, one category is non-small cell, very creative. Small cell is like rats underground because they're very small. They live in the submucosa underneath the epithelial cells and they just run around in there. And it's pretty common, but not as common as one of the non-small cells ones, which is adenocarcinoma. So this is one's really bad, it goes super fast, it comes here and it spreads to all your lungs and goes to your brain, and it's the most common one. Next we have large cell, um, which falls down and goes into your lungs and your kidneys because it's large and it's heavy. The other one is called squamous cell. It's like being in Squamish. Everyone who lives in Squamish is super chill, and it starts in the hilum and then it goes up towards the bronchi, just like going up to Whistler to have a good time, except it's not really fun, but that is the 